Hi everyone. I wanted to do a real quick video about programming in C. So let's jump right into a uh, project I've already got started. So if I do a directory, you can see I've got some files here already. I've got a big long file called calc.c. And that has a lot of uh, various mathematical calculation functions in it. In fact, if I do a more on calc.c, you can see I've got uh, well, at the top of it, I've got a bunch of various uh, standard arithmetic functions and then some other stuff. I'll do a control C on that. Uh, you can see I also have, uh, you know, some data being defined in here. And I've got a local include directory called inc. And inside that, I've got a, a calc.h file. Now let's write a very simple uh, program to kind of test what we have so far. Uh, so we're going to use my favorite programming editor, fed. And we're going to create a very simple spreadsheet program. We'll just call it spreadsheet dot c now if you've been following the c programming series you know that uh most c programs need to start with the some stuff at the top of the file called these uh include uh which you use with the uh, the pound sign uh, i'm going to start this with a uh a standard io uh, dot h and that's various standard input and output functions like printing to the screen or reading from the keyboard i'm also going to uh include my local uh uh include file and we use the double quotes for that because it's a local file and the directory that it's in is called inc and then the file is called calc.h and uh, i can also include some other functions in here so i can include uh, various uh, functions that uh, do things with the bios with uh, bios.h i can do uh, uh, dos functions with dos.h i can include uh, various environment handling things with env.h and actually I can do other uh, DOS functions with uh, DOS func dot H. And I'm not done. I can actually also include uh, standard lib dot H uh, and I can do various math functions with uh, math dot H. And still not done. I can also include uh, various things for uh, floating point with float dot H. Um, and I can include uh, various things to do uh, things with the console with con IO dot h now let's go ahead and write a very simple test program here we're just going to do a uh, an integer function uh, main that's the every uh, program starts with the main function i'm not going to read anything from the command line so i'll just do an empty parameter list there and then inside my curly braces i need to write my uh, program now i've done a lot of stuff up above so in this case we're just going to uh, define the program and we're going to go ahead and immediately exit back uh, and we'll let the stuff up above uh, do anything we might need to do so we'll do a return zero now it seems like a simple program, but if I go ahead and exit uh, and uh, uh, and now look at what I've got, let's go ahead and, and compile that and see what happens. So we'll do a, a Watcom compiler and linker, uh, and we're going to call that on the uh, uh, spreadsheet program, and so we'll do that as uh, spreadsheet c and then uh, calc dot c and you can see that it now compiles uh, my programs and at the bottom it's created a dos executable and yeah sure enough if i do a directory you can see i've got uh, spreadsheet dot exe and if i go ahead and run that and just call a spreadsheet uh, you can see that i've now created visicalc happy april 1st everyone